Texas Longhorns fans, this commitment made November 4th this morning. We got the news in the mail. Jamil Johnson is the first recruit in the class of 2023 for our Texas Longhorns. Very happy to, to announce, very proud to, to say that Jamil Johnson, quarterback, from Arlington, Texas, four-star recruit is now officially a Texas Longhorn. What's up? What's happening? You know me. It's your boy AK, and I'm here to announce in a live stream with you today that we have our first commitment in the class of 2023. He comes from a large family of 10. He is nine. He is the 10th sibling of two other boys and seven girls. Jamil Johnson comes from a very competitive family from Arlington, Texas. He is nationally rated as number 187th nationally rated recruit. 15th overall safety is in the great state of Texas. He is the 27th overall best player. With that being said, Texas does see him as a cornerback recruit. I do see him possibly playing a safety cornerback or even a nickel roll defensive uh, backfield for Terry Joseph's uh, defensive scheme. But with that being said, in, keep, in PK's defense, he is six foot one, right around 175 pounds, 180 pounds. But whenever you're talking about a frame and whenever you're talking about someone's size and whenever he is large, for that size or he is large for that frame, Jamil Johnson is definitely going to be someone that, that fits that character, that fits that mold. Uh, as is, when you look at others that are around that same body, that are listed at that same height and weight, Jamil Johnson does appear to be just a bit larger than does play a bit more of a safety role, a bit hybrid uh, safety role for his uh, Seguin High School uh, down there in Arlington. But he is looking to play a nickelback cornerback for uh, Terry Joseph in uh, Coach PK's scheme. And just a couple of things that I do like about him, uh, what they do say about uh, Mr. Johnson, he does have ideal size for his position. He is just over that six foot one um, area, which you do, uh, in fact, enjoy in, with your corners. Uh, he does have good height and weight to add to that frame. He does um, have good athleticism that he does play on the ball. He does make good breaks and good movements towards the ball as well uh, with his frame. But with that being said, he has played the majority of his snaps um, a little bit off the ball, a little bit behind the ball, playing in that more of a uh, safety role. He uh, utilizes that length with uh, playing in press coverage, and he also uses that size and strength at the point of attack. He does finish well for a tackler. He does finish well for a defensive back as a tackler as he displays right here and as he displays early and often throughout his videos. He does make a good break on the ball, intercepting the ball and having uh, good PBUs, having good pass breakups. He does show good lightning speed as he chases this guy all the way down from behind. Good Hollywood hustle, good competitive nature, never really giving up on the play, never really giving up on his teammates there for speed. But uh, four star prospect, Again, you cannot absolutely say enough about this, man. You cannot say enough about it. You've absolutely just got to get a foothold. You absolutely just have to get someone in here. You just absolutely have to get someone started in the class. And in the first class, committed to the Longhorns is going to be Jamil Johnson. We did have a, uh, another running back committed to the class of 2023. That was going to be El Campo, Ruben Owens. But he made his commitment during the summer, and he did commit. Uh, did in fact decommit. Opened up his recruitment, saying that he wants to explore his options. Really, I think was when the case with Owens. I really just think that he did just commit just a little bit too early. I think that he should have explored his options just a little bit more, taken a little bit more of his summer visit. But I do believe he pounced on it just a bit early. But uh, Jamil Johnson has been on the campus. He was a part of uh, the mid. February, sorry, the mid-June uh, summer tour uh, that many prospects had uh, on campus. He was part of the big prospects that came on in the class of 2023. Uh, there was some uh, junior prospects, uh, some senior prospects on there as well, but that was mainly a junior prospect day that really opened it up for uh, Jamil, that really opened up his eyes, as many big-time programs had uh, the eyes and the prize for his recruit. Um, the likes of Texas A&M were in uh, for this recruit. Obviously, we're going to have uh, the Bayou Bengals LSU. Obviously, going to have Lockhart, 
uh, to get this recruit from Alabama. He is a highly touted uh, defensive back looking to play a cornerback in that Terry Joseph scheme. He is uh, look, looked at as a safety. If you do uh, look him up on 247 Sports or probably another uh, rating site, he is going to be listed as a safety. But with that being said, Jameel Johnson is going to be a Texas Longhorn. Very excited to have him uh, being the first uh, addition to the class of uh, 2023. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, and if you're a Texas fan, a college football fan, and love sports, you must subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you will know as soon as new content is uploaded.